Hello everyone and welcome to Katy, Texas. We are at 7-Eleven on Pin Oak Road at Kingsland Boulevard. And we're gonna be taking a ride to a, a car wash um, that I go to have membership on. Huh? It's a Cinco Odo 2, I believe it's called, the car wash. Um, let's go take the ride. I we'll hope you enjoy the video. Let's see. So we're going to be driving on uh, Kingsland Boulevard. It's a fairly nice ride. Uh, it's going to be a uh, going through like a residential area and everything. But the speed limit is only 30 miles per hour, but cars like to go a lot faster here, like 45, 50 or something. But the speed limit really is 30. Like that truck is going way too fast right now. <laughs> There's a Ford Raptor, pretty nice vehicles, but they're like, think eighty, ninety thousand dollars now, maybe even more, because of the car prices being so high right now. Uh, so you can see it's a nice day, pretty warm outside though, probably mid 80s, feels about low 90s or so, here in uh, Katy, Texas, which is just west of Houston. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's been raining often lately here. Didn't rain, I don't believe, right here yesterday in Katy at all. But today we're supposed to get some more rain. But I'm going to get car wash anyway, just in case it doesn't rain. But my car is real dirty, so it deserves a wash. Yeah, so we're still on Kingsland Boulevard here going to be turning on to see if I see the name of the road. I do it all the time, but I don't really read the name of the street, you know? Kingsland Boulevard, and it's Wood Creek Bend Lane. It just turned into, there's a school on the left here. The school right there on the left. It's a Wood Creek Elementary School, that one. And as the saying goes, everything's big in, in Texas. <laughs> Even the elementary school is the size of a, like a, at least a middle school or a high school somewhere else. And a lot of other states. Yeah, now, from Wood Creek Lane, I think I said. Wood Creek Bend Lane, yes. We're gonna be making a right on Morgan Parkway. This is Morgan Parkway, pretty nice community here. Uh, nice houses and everything, pretty, pretty huge homes. But very nice um, road too. The nice clouds and sky, it's a nice ride out here. community. I don't know what it stands for though right now. <laughs> Probably Ranch King if I gotta guess. I believe it's Ranch King but I'm not positive. It might be Ranch King off of Morgan Parkway. And here on the right we'll have a Kroger grocery store or supermarket as some call it. Spring Green Boulevard, we're going to be making the left on here. Spring Green Boulevard, everyone. And there's a Mr. Car Wash ahead of me right there. We just passed, but I'm not a member of that car wash right now. So that's not where I go. We'll be driving. 
sliding down. Spring green. Old war, I said that. Right? Or spring green, anyway. Or is it road? Let me check. Yeah, Spring Green Boulevard is correct. There is South Fire Road if I made the right there. This community on the right is really nice here. I mean, all of this area is nice, but exceptionally nice right here on the right. The nice lakes in their backgrounds and everything of these homes. And you can see the big blue sky as we drive it. There's Windermere Retreat Boulevard. But that's going into the gated community there on the right of Avalon. There's one of the Avalons. There's a lot of Avalon communities, by the way, in Cinco Ranch and otherwise. This is in Cinco Ranch right here, I, I don't believe. It's some other community it's called. But it's very close, it's in the Cinco Ranch area though, so. driving by here still on Spring Green Boulevard we're gonna be making a right on this roundabout to Cinco Trace Drive Cinco Trace Drive you just gotta be careful because vehicles are merging into now this part is definitely Cinco Ranch this here is Cinco Ranch well, that Avalon actually was on the right, so it's maybe the same community. But I think it had that RK name over there, so it might have been Ranch King stuff, if, I, if I'm even saying that initials correctly. Um, but this is definitely, right here is definitely Cinco Ranch now. A newer area of Cinco Ranch, very beautiful too. And the houses here are pretty much going for mostly if not a million, very close to a million and higher, and to a couple of million. Because as you know, the ho housing market went up too, a lot. So houses that were like five, six hundred thousand or six, seven hundred thousand are way over a million now easily. So I doubt any house really is under a million right here, but there may be some. If they want to make a quick sale, I don't know. There's some tennis courts and everything. There's West Ridge Creek Lane, if you made a right here on Cinco Trace Drive. Or Ironwood Lane, if you made a left. And they're both um, gated communities. Well, the one on the left is definitely Ironwood Lane over there. It's another gated community, very nice houses too. This is um, still driving on Cinco Ranch. I mean, Cinco Trace Drive. Cinco Trace Drive. Passing the Bandera Glen community of Cinco Ranch right there. go straight here we're going to be going crossing um 14 fm 16 i mean 1463 fm the fm doesn't stand for like a radio which says you know am fm it's farm to market it stands for farm to market road 1463 a lot of times in texas you have fm and a number for a road name that happens very often instead of a street name. Well, you have like regular communities and streets too. You do have a lot of that, so don't don't misunderstand me. But you do have a lot of roads also that are called farm to FM whatever number, like 1463 for example, this one. 
or 1644. They have all different kinds of numbers. You name it, they have it. Because Texas is a pretty big area, as you know. Um, it's one of the largest states. In land area, it's second largest to Alaska. But uh, in the landlocked area of the United States, it is the biggest state. And it's the second most populated state in the United States. This is the Churchill Farms community on the right. We're gonna be passing by. Or we're gonna go straight. But if I made the right right here, it would have been Churchill Farms Boulevard. And if I made a left right here on this road, it would have been Cardiff Ranch Road. So yeah, one part of the road can have a different name than another. So that can get confusing for some people too. But GPS helps a lot, obviously, these days. See the big blue sky with the clouds in it. Probably will rain later today, but I'm still gonna go for the car wash because just in case it doesn't rain, the car will be clean. And I do have membership for it, so it's not like I have to pay additional. Already I'm paying a certain amount every month, so I'm not gonna have to pay additional right now to get the car wash. So that's why it's um, worth going for it. So here we're gonna make a left from 1463. Actually, where I said we're gonna cross over 1463, yeah, it became 1463, I apologize. Because if we made a right over there, it would have been a 1463 also. So the road kind of splits and goes a different direction, but it's still the same name. So when we were on Cinco Trace, road before um it did become 1463 at that traffic light that we were stopped at but if we made a right it would have been 1463 still this is 1463 still now and we're going to make a left on cinco ranch boulevard to go to this car wash which is called cinco auto too and it's very close to here now the vehicle in front of me has a Louisiana license plate. And in the United States, for, for those watching from other countries, every state has its own license plate, even if they're not custom made. But of course you have custom license plate designs and everything also. But each state has its own um, name license plate, but they're all the same size, of, of course, for this country. And since we are in Texas, obviously most of the vehicles moving around are Texas here. But if you went to, for example, Illinois, you would have a lot of Illinois plates. New Jersey would have New Jersey. New York has New York. California has its own. Every state, Wyoming has its own and so forth. I just gotta wait here for them to give me the, what they do, they have the plate number in the system and they run the plate number and it prints, it tells them that I'm a member and it prints out the little piece of paper telling the car wash attendant that's at the actual car wash right before it goes into the car wash to wash the car, what kind of wash I have. Here he comes, he's walking up now to Okay. I appreciate Thank it much. Thank you. So he gives me a receipt and you with a piece of tape and you tape that on your windshield on the very left side, by the driver's side. That way this car wash attendant that's about to walk up will look at it and he'll press the proper buttons to automatically wash the vehicle. 
but they do dry the vehicle also with the towel afterwards. So. And the car wash plan I have, I believe it's either, for two vehicles it's cheaper. So it's like, I believe for one vehicle it's $22 or $20, something like that per month. So it's not very, very expensive. So I have the unlimited wash glove. Yeah, he's putting the water on the windshield and everything. is the back so water will start to pour down soon like almost like rain water when it first starts right there water and soap splashing on the side of the car on top everything And this part becomes a little bit like an ASMR. That's what it is right now. What's going on? With the blue and yellow in this port on it. It also looks like soap too, but it's a protector after the soap. That's to protect the clear coat of the paint. And it makes it makes water beat on it. you stop they start drying the view See if I can angle this up a little bit more. 